So my friends, in this video, we're gonna be looking at this AKG Lyra microphone from Harman. Now, this is a microphone that is designed for podcasts, gaming, pretty much anything that you use a microphone for. Let's take a closer look. Now, some of you that have been following this channel for a little while will know that up until a year or so ago, I was recording all of my voiceover work on this, the Guitar Hero microphone. However, I changed recently to the Rode NT USB, and I absolutely love it. It's what I'm talking to you on now. But I'm always looking to try and improve the sound and quality of my videos. I've recently gone 4K with the Sony cameras, and so now it's time to look at microphones once again. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this, which is the Lyra AKG by Harman. This microphone is going to be a direct competitor to the Blue Yeti X and also this what I'm talking to you on now, the Rode NT USB. Okay, within the box you get all of the usual warranty information and then you get to the microphone itself, which I do have to say, in first look, looks great and it's very well packaged, very secure indeed. You also get a little adapter to adapt this to a different mount and also you get a USB-C cable to USB which will directly plug into your computer. Now as you can see, this is a retro type looking device and I think it looks pretty good. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Right guys, from now on I'm going to talk to you, certainly for the next while anyway, with the new microphone. Okay, so I'm now talking to you on the AKG mic. Now, build quality of this microphone is pretty good. I really, really love the look of it. However, it doesn't feel quite as substantial as the Rode. Whereas the Rode is majority metal based, this is a mixture of metal and plastic. But certainly it doesn't feel cheap in any way. It's well put together. The buttons and all of the dials feel really robust when you twist them, but it's just a little bit more plasticky and so therefore not quite as sturdy maybe as the Rode. Now it's important to recognize what type of microphone you're actually looking for because for instance with my Rode it's just a cardioid mic so therefore it will only pick up from the front that you're talking to. Whereas this has all of those different settings so it's got microphones at the back and also at the side. So it's omnidirectional, it's stereo, it's double stereo and it's cardioid. Now I'll run a little test now of showing you those different modes. So this what I'm talking to you on now is called front or cardioid, and so therefore it's picking up directly in front of the microphone. Okay, I'm now in front and back mode, which is picking up recording from front and back of the microphone. So this is great if you're in a, for instance, head-to-head -head or table-based interview with someone and you're looking to get both voices heard. Okay, I'm now in tight stereo mode, or what's known just normally as stereo, and this may be used, for instance, if you were singing or you were playing a musical instrument at the time and you're looking to get a little bit more of the stereo. And finally, we're now in wide stereo mode. Now, this could be used for recording a larger area, for instance, a crowd or a band, and you've only got the one microphone. So this is a wide stereo field, what's also known as double stereo. Now, the other benefit to this microphone compared to my Rode is the fact that you also have microphone gain on the back, which means that you can adjust the volume of the microphone within the microphone, and you don't have to always do it in post. So with this, there are a number of features which which the Rode doesn't have. Now this is back in front mode, which is the type of mode that I would use it for in podcasting, voiceover work, and I think there's not that much difference. Certainly what I would say is that those people looking to use their microphone for multiple uses, then go for the AKG, definitely. So my friends, I'm really interested to hear whether you can tell the difference and what your thoughts are on it. Let me know in the comment section, but both of these are good microphones, guys, but this one has just got a little bit more features packed into it. Guys, the links for both of these microphones are in the description. Check it out for yourselves. Thanks for watching this video as always, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next one.